Do you eat a lot of sugar? Can't you resist sweets, cakes, chocolates, and soft drinks? And if you stopped abusing sugar from one moment to the next, what fruits would you reap later? You know that many people are addicted to sugar. Could you be one of them? On average, people consume 30 kilos of sugar a year. 30 kilos, almost twice the recommended maximum. That's the average. Sometimes you eat more than that. And you also know that excess sugar is bad for your health. In the long run, it can lead to obesity and diabetes. I'm going to show you what happens to your body when you stop eating sugar. And I'm going to give you a spoiler. You're going to get better from the inside out. Do you eat a lot of sugar? Can't live without sugar? Have you tried cutting back on sugar? Write it down below. First, I need to separate natural sugars from added sugars that you put in or that come with the product, like in soda, cookies, cake. Natural sugars are found in fresh foods, for example. If you eat three grapes, you're eating one gram of sugar. But fruits also contain other nutrients, vitamins, minerals that will strengthen your body, as well as fiber that will satisfy your hunger and make the sugar in the fruit absorb more slowly. That's why fruit juice is not so interesting, because they remove the fiber. While added sugars are empty calories without nutrition, which unlike a fruit, will bring health problems. Let me make it clear that I'm going to focus on added sugars. First benefit, when you stop eating sugar, you will improve your skin. What does skin have to do with sugar? Sugar increases the oiliness of the skin and can also increase sweating. The person who sweats a lot, increased oiliness, can form pimples, acne, and also servoboric dermatitis, and in some cases, peeling of the face. And look, that's not all. Removing sugar is one of the most effective strategies to reduce skin aging. Sugar makes collagen more rigid instead of flexible. The skin becomes less elastic, more saggy with those wrinkles. Sugar also dehydrates the skin, making it look duller, causing puffiness and dark circles. If you want to look younger, cut down on sugar, choose fruits and vegetables, and drink more water for a more vibrant look. The second benefit of cutting back on sugar is that it reduces fat in the liver. Diets high in sugar can increase the risk of developing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is the accumulation of fat in the liver, fatty liver, hepatic stetosis. One study showed that drinking one liter of soft drinks a day for six months increased fat in the liver, visceral fat in the belly, which is bad for you, and triglyceride levels in the blood, and another study of obese children and adolescents who ate a lot of sugar showed that just nine days on a sugar-restricted diet reduced liver fat by almost 4% and improved insulin resistance and overall health. So if you have hepatic stetosis, cut out the sugar. Hepatic stetosis can turn into cirrhosis and also into cancer, so it's not good to play around with it third benefit of eliminating sugar, less inflammation. One disadvantage of eating sugar is that it increases inflammation in the body. And how do you know you have inflammation in the body? A simple blood test can detect it. C-reactive protein or ultra-sensitive CRP, if it is above 2 mg per liter, you are more at risk of heart attack, stroke, and other serious complications. Sugar is tasty, but it forms free radicals. And these free radicals damage the walls of the arteries, the endothelium, causing inflammation. That's why it increases the risk of heart attack and stroke and the formation of fatty plaques and, you know, those chronic joint pains, food allergies and headaches. There is a direct link between inflammatory diseases and sugar. So once a person cuts down on sugar, they can expect a decrease in the body's inflammation levels, including C-reactive protein and ferritin, as well as a decrease in body pain, obesity itself, which excess sugar is one of the main culprits, inflames the body, so cut down on sugar and get a less inflamed body, less pain and allergies. Fourth benefit, lower triglycerides. If you're one of those people who likes to look at your blood test levels, You've probably come across the word triglycerides. After all, 
What are triglycerides? Triglycerides are a type of lipid or fat found in the blood, and today we know that high triglycerides increase the risk of heart disease. Triglycerides have to do with four main factors, the calories you get from food, a diet high in carbohydrates and fats increases triglycerides. So what you exercise, if you're sedentary, you accumulate triglycerides, genetics, which we can't accumulate, and your weight, the fatter you are, the more triglycerides you have. So if you want to have triglycerides in the normal range, cut down on sugar, lose weight, and exercise. Fifth benefit, less bloating. We usually associate salt with swelling, and that's true because sodium retains water and makes your legs and feet swell, but we now know that sugar also causes fluid retention. Sugar causes your pancreas to release more insulin and the link between high insulin levels and insulin resistance, which stimulates the kidneys to retain water and salt. This is one of the reasons why sugar can cause hypertension, and if you eat a lot of salt and also a lot of sugar, then you will have fluid retention, and if you think that with tea or a diuretic you will improve this, I suggest a better, more natural strategy, attack the culprits, cut out the sugar and reduce the salt, you will see that your legs and ankles will swell. The sixth benefit of eliminating sugar is better digestion. Excess sugar causes an imbalance in the intestinal flora, and as a result of this imbalance, it can cause excess gas, diarrhea, abdominal pain, or even constipation and bad breath. But your entire digestive tract will thank you for cutting back on sugar. Your stomach will work better, your pancreas will not be overstimulated, your gut bacteria will be healthier. And when you replace those empty sugar calories with whole foods like fruits, vegetables, nuts, and whole grains, you're better nourished. In addition, fiber helps the body absorb sugar more slowly, so you don't have that spike in glucose and therefore insulin, so your blood sugar levels will be more stable. Seventh benefit, more focus. Research shows that a diet high in sugar can affect a neurotrophin called BDNF. The study found that two months of a high sugar diet was enough to reduce BDNF levels in the hippocampus and spatial learning performance in neuroplasticity. Without BDNF, it becomes more difficult for the brain to form new memories and remember things. So if you want more memory and more focus, cut out sugar. Eighth benefit, lower cancer risk. Although studies haven't proven that sugar directly causes cancer, there are some links worth making. Cancer cells, like other cells in your body, use sugar for fuel so the tumor can grow faster. And eating a diet high in sugar leads to weight gain. And that, yes, is a real risk factor for cancer. A 2013 study found that a diet high in refined sugars, as well as meat and other animal products, was associated with a higher risk of pancreatic cancer. Another study found that sugar and soft drinks were linked to the risk of endometrial cancer in postmenopausal women, so it's a good idea to cut back on sugar to lower your cancer risk. Ninth benefit, increased energy and good mood, sugar causes your energy levels to go on a roller coaster. When you eat a sweet treat, your blood sugar levels rise rapidly, boosting your mood and alertness, and then drop when insulin is released by your pancreas. This drop in blood sugar can leave you feeling shaky, weak, hungry, and moody. In addition, Harvard research has shown that a diet high in refined sugars can impair brain function and increase symptoms of depression. Before the last benefit, I want to let you know that I'm going to leave a link for you to click on in the comments below with our herbs and food program with recipes that explain how to keep your organs healthier. This way you can prevent future health problems with homemade and natural recipes. There's even a tutorial that teaches you how to grow these herbs at home to improve the health of each of your organs. Take a look and then come back and tell our team what you think, okay? And the 10th benefit, lower risk of dementia, did you know that there are researchers who have coined Alzheimer's as type 3 diabetes? Have you ever heard that term, type 3 diabetes? 
The latest research shows that there is a link between Alzheimer's and diabetes. A 2016 study showed that people with type 2 diabetes may be up to 60% more likely to develop Alzheimer's and other types of dementia, such as vascular dementia. And also diabetes can cause chemical imbalances in the brain that can trigger Alzheimer's and the production of these, which are neurofibrillary tangles, or a clump of proteins that accumulate inside neurons and also amyloid plaque in the brain, in addition to that inflammation that I talked about that sugar causes can damage brain cells. So if you want a good memory, cut out sugar forever. Did you like the video? Click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our health tips and ring the bell. It's very important that you share this knowledge with your friends and family because when it comes to your health, it's worth sharing. So please do. So what's the next video you're going to watch? I'll leave you with my recommendation. Until the next video, thank you and stay healthy.